that's the highway patrol and fire department and police department and this is my car and it's sitting at the gas station because it's currently leaking 15 gallons of fuel out of the gas tank at an exponential rate that they won't let me tow the car out of here with and we cannot seem to find the reason there's a plastic shroud over the gas tank and we don't have any tools because it's too low and it's seeping gas so they won't let us get up underneath it and I'm waiting on my buddy to come back with his rollback so we can hopefully figure something out and tow it out of here. I am not sure if this is something to do with going to Daytona and bottoming it out on the track. I don't remember hitting anything. We didn't go that fast to bottom it out, but yeah, that's specialized kitty litter to soak up gas. And there's a pan underneath the car, which you'll see, and it is just raining gas. And if Chris doesn't get here, Soon enough, uh, they're going to make a tow truck driver get my car out of here for money and then the EPA is going to get called because their scared gas is going to go in that drain over there and that's going to be expensive. So we're trying to avoid that. Uh. A few moments later. There's the fire department, and there's the tow truck, just waiting to tow my shit box. Hopefully Chris gets here soon with the rollback. Meanwhile... Well... I'm currently walking back with piss pads and duct tape over to the gas station. Because the firefighter looked me in the face and said, I don't want to be here anymore, so whatever it is you've got to do that makes you feel safe to get this car out of here. To which I replied, well, I'm not cranking it up because it's got a shorty exhaust and it's still raining gas. So the best I can do is my buddy's flatbed is coming and I can duct tape some doggy absorbent pee pads to the flatbed. Hopefully it'll rain down on that and that'll catch it. And we can make it to my house without burning into an inferno. And he said, hey man, that's fine, but we gotta wait until I see you come back with them pee pads to make sure you're not lying. And there he is, there's a fire truck right there, he wasn't kidding. And there's the whole ass gas station with the county mounties that are also waiting on me. Chris might be there. I sound tired, it's because I just sprinted at bin speed across the parking lot. Not sure why. The car is not movable, so I don't know who's in a hurry here. Anyway, this sucks ass. Uh, it's good to have friends with toys like rollbacks and tow trucks and shit, but man, when they're ancient and old, it takes a long time for them to get here. And boy, are these cops and firefighters and tow truck people getting antsy. One eternity later. Well, we're officially in the rollback. We dropped off my car and... Let's, it's just a place. A place. Maybe. A place that could probably fix it. I don't know. The car currently, I don't have. Probably. I don't have a way to fix it in my house. I don't have a lift that's going to require that. The car is two inches above the ground. So, best case scenario right now, it's currently at a uh, mechanics and won't even be looked at until Monday. That's fine. I don't need it. But the rollback that we are in, that I think my car may or may not have killed, uh, is now dying as well. So. That's part of this. Cat murder button, button wire. It's part of this day. So now we're not eating Philly cheesesteaks like they started off with. And yeah. now we're scouring junkyard for parts. A junkyard for parts for a 1943 whatever. We are now at O'Reilly's. I just dropped a hundred dollars on spark plug wires and cap and rotor and stuff. We're in the Silverado with the 350 small block and uh, it basically shit the bed when we put herbicide on the back of it and tried to climb like a 20% grade. So I didn't have to spend any money on a tow truck today so here I am buying parts for my buddy's rollback. Two hours later. Now he's got to run inside and buy himself a flathead screwdriver because that's what's preventing us from working on the truck currently. Our flathead screwdriver. Uh, that was a 
those look great. That one there is extra great. Something probably goes there. Anyway, just bought some parts. Let's see if this gets us home. Otherwise, uh, maybe we're sleeping it. Oh, 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 oh shit. Hey, pal. If I didn't have my THC vape with me, I probably would have headbutted a rusty railroad spike at full speed by now. My day started off with going to pick up cheesesteaks and hole saw bits. Not from the same store, but that, that'd be pretty cool if you could. Lowe's doesn't sell cheesesteaks and I don't think Firehouse sells whole saw bits. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. The very first person I encountered today was a very sweet lady coming out of the gas station where this whole predicament started. And as she came out, she put her hand on my shoulder and said, Happy Easter. And I said, Oh, it's Easter? I had no idea. And she went, No, it's not Easter, it's Good Friday. And I said, Okay. And I walked inside. I thought that was nice. Today's gonna be a good day. The Lord hates me is all I'm saying. He has to. It hasn't been a good day. Been a bad day. Very bad day. You know your truck is a thug when you got the big old angled donkey shifter and also your clutch is made out of tire tread. I'm not saying don't buy a Chevy Silverado. I'm just saying if you're going to buy a 1985 Chevy Silverado rollback, probably make sure all the shit on it works. I don't even smoke cigarettes. These are starting to look real extra good. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I wanted a cheesesteak and now I'm going to go home and I'm going to have to eat like Totino's pizza rolls or something. <laughs> Country road, take me home to the place I belong. Do you know the Muffin Man? The one who lives on Drury Lane? Chris, do you know the Muffin Man? What? Never mind. Maybe I'm a Jeep guy. I never see a Jeep pulled over with gas dumping out of him. And you. By the power of Gilbert Gottfried, I command you to start. By the power of Grayskull, I command you. Thunder, thunder, thundercats. Ah! It's all happening. God damn it. They lent us their magnet, let's be good citizens and return it. Thanks O'Reilly's. Like a modern day Beetlejuice with a flatbed tow truck. New York. Hey, it better. It's gotta be better than before. Oh, Bob Saget. Better or no? And I'll still use those parts that you bought. Tomorrow. There it is. Still leaking gasoline. Hasta mañana, gordita. So anyway, that's what happened. Check fuel lines. I didn't think it was going to be my modern Volkswagen that was going to have some sort of ruptured fuel issue. I'm gonna go eat my cheesesteak now that I didn't get to eat yesterday. Sorry the camera's so wobbly, it's cheesesteak time. Later taters.